Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about intrinsic or deflection in ECG. So intrinsic or deflection, it uh, actually represents the initial phase of ventricular depolarization. So as we all know, the QRS is responsible for the ventricular depolarization. It denotes a ventricular depolarization in ECG. So the initial phase of ventricular depolarization, that is the starting of the QA to the peak of R wave. So this part is called as intrinsic or deflection and it denotes the early ventricular uh, depolarization phase. So normally this duration is less than 50 milliseconds. Less than 50 milliseconds is normal duration. So measurement is from the onset of QRS to the peak of R wave just prior to its downward deflection. You take it as intrinsic or deflection. So if uh, if uh, if a patient have a, a RBBB, so there are multiple multiple R waves to be there. So then intrinsic or deflection should be calculated from the start of QRS to the peak of the second R wave, not the first R wave. You took the last R wave, whichever is there, the peak of R wave. You take the duration of it and uh, and last R wave, and you measure the intrinsic or deflection. So delayed intrinsic or deflection is defined as uh, in any ECG if the in leads V1 and V6 specifically, if the duration of R wave peak time is more than 50 milliseconds, uh, it is actually defined by Sokolov and Lyons criteria and it denotes that there is delay in the initial phase of left ventricular depolarization. So it denotes delayed intrinsic or deflection. So that is the duration if, of this one, if it is more than 50 milliseconds, then it is called as delayed intrinsic or deflection. So since leads V5 and V6 are the standard, for measurement of this intrinsic or deflection, if there is incorrect lead replacement, uh, there can be uh, it can lead to uh, alteration in the values. So we should be careful uh, in that. We should always take a proper ECG in proper position. Uh, we leads should be kept in proper position before interpreting the intrinsic or deflection. So various studies previously have shown that uh, delayed intrinsic or deflection is associated with various cardiovascular conditions such as left ventricle hypertrophy, heart failure, and is also associated with sudden cardiac death as is uh, said by uh, various studies. But still its role is uh, uh, to be much been proven and various, various studies are still ongoing on denoting uh, the prognosis uh, significance of this delayed intrinsic or deflection. So this delayed intrinsic deflection also have a role, uh, uh, delayed, not, sorry, not the delayed intrinsic deflection, but R wave peak time has a role in diagnosing uh, ventricular tachycardia and it to differentiate it from the supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy. So if the peak R wave, that is R wave peak time, if it is more than 50 milliseconds, it goes more in favor of VT. And if it is less than 50 milliseconds, then it goes more in favor of supraventricular tachycardia. So hope you have liked this video. This is about intrinsic or deflection. If you want more videos like this, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Beg. Thank you.